Okay, let's get down to it, folks. If you're still using a microwave oven, shame on you. I'm not kidding. I don't know how many people are still using these things, but if you are, there's something you need to know. First thing we're going to measure is the microwave. So if we start the microwave, you can see here, just so you know how this works. At first, the magnetic is the most dangerous, so that's what we're going to check. So we set it to zero to three. When you get to three, that's the red zone. That's considered the most dangerous. Anything with that has magnetic range of past three is considered very dangerous. Once it gets to three, you go to the top range and that goes from 3 to 100 but right since 3 that's considered very dangerous so all this is dangerous obviously the, the more close to 100 or better is the more dangerous so we're going to start the microwave see what happens okay so immediately goes right to 3 so let's go to 0 to 100 range and it's still way past 100 so obviously the closer the, the worse it is so as we come further back we're going to try a couple of cell phones. So this is a Apple iPhone 5. We're still on the 0 to 100 range. We just made a phone call and look how bad it goes up. That's the back side and of course the front side just as bad. Now the phone call just stopped and let's see what happens. You can see even without a phone call the range still goes up and down. The reason that is is because every time your phone is looking for service, the range goes up to about 50. And this is, this is why it's a good idea to keep this out of your pocket. If you can keep this in a, in a knapsack or something like that, or when you get somewhere, take it out of your pocket if you have to. Um, how to use these phones, the best way is with the headphones that connect not through wires but through the...